Hello everyone, Praise Scooter here, and welcome back to Pokemon Y, the Fairy Monotype Challenge. Last time, we stopped Team Flare's actions at the power plant, and now we're playing moving forward. Yay for progress! So anyway, for progress for this, oddly enough, is fairly simple. Actually, Scientist Man, do you... Yes. Nothing's worth hanging... Oh. I don't know why I seem to get caught all the time, but anyway, oh, um, run! If this is out here, this means there's more tre treasures. Dang it! Get greedy for treasure. Get approached by trap pitches with a uh, arena trap. Which that's the most annoying thing around here is that they all have arena trap. Can I go in here? Oh, I can't get in. Okay. Noted. Anyway, so yeah, um, we're, we basically need to just go down to, um, leave me alone. I'm really hungry for treasures, I'm not going to lie. Um, how do I get on this? Oh, I have to approach it from here. And there we are. That's how we get inside to get at this stuff, I guess. Ah, uh, Ooh, sunstone. Well, there we go. Now you can have Lilligant and Sun Flora. Don't get Sun Flora. Anyway, let's head back out of this circle. Uh, dang it! I'm gonna cop at this thing. Ooh. Okay. You'll be happy to know that we do not have any more business out here in this area. Hello, sir. Now, it's taken care of. Whoa. You're big. You are. You are gigantic. The Pokemon. The flower Pokemon. The Pokemon that was given eternal life. Sir, are you okay? It'll be fine. Anyway. Now, we actually want to take a little detour over here. Oh, crap. I have to use Rock Smash here. But yeah, we want to take a little detour so I think there is at least one more nice thing out here in this desert that we can get using Rock Smash. Where is it? Okay. Oh. Try again. Sorry, I'm used to like other games where it's like, I mean, I actually was waiting for this whole boot up thing before. It was like, hey, teach to a Pokemon bit, but whatever. Anyway, we do want to teach Rock Smash to at least somebody really quick here because we'll be able to get at some nice things. At least if I remember right. I'm, I remember when I first completed X and Y, I went back through it later on. And I went back through it much later on. I was just looking for every TM because I was going to make... I was making the lazy man's competitive teams. And, uh, I mean, I found out that I figured, I found out there was a TM out here that I had missed. At least two TMs. So, oh. Oh, that's a big one. That's a new guy. So here's a Graveler for you guys. Big old Graveler. Graveler, 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 Graveler. Anyway. Graveler, Evolve Former Geodude, Evolves into Golem, Rock Ground Type, Dead by dead by Leaves. Kai Kai. That is way too... That is way too kind to be. <laughs> Just a write-off of Kai. Anyway, what's this? Oh, real candies, eh? Now, okay, that's all we can do out here, I believe. There's not something hidden. And a Stardust, okay. Well, now that we've gotten a rare candy, um, by the way, rare candy. I'm going to take this time, well, I thought rare candy is going to reteach re uh, the one move. But, um, rare candies are basically quick level ups. It's basically... It's basically, hey, my Pokemon needs to level up here and now. Okay, well, let me give it, a, let me get this, this rare candy. You won't get as, m I don't think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think you get as much of a stat growth benefit if you evolve via rock candy. But, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, you don't get as much of a stat growth, but you do get um, that, that instantaneous level up. 
So you're trading, what's the word? You're, tra you're trading expedition, expedi expedition. You're just trading expedition for uh, stats effectively. Oh, Clementa? Who is Clement? Anybody who's watched the anime knows who this is. Anyway, now that we've fixed the power plant, I believe... Hi, Shauna. Hello. Oh, yes, I took care of that. Uh, it was me. I mean, I'm telling you the truth. All right, well, let's go light the tower, and oh boy. Well, we'll go see the tower, and I think we'll finally take a proper tour of Lumio shortly after we see the tower. Because, oh man, there is a lot to see. Hi. By the way, as you're running through Lumios, like, random people will talk, including these people. You can talk to people properly, too. Espresso in the... is the... um... Right, you're addicted to coffee. Oh, right, I should actually be on my rollerblades. Much quicker to move around. Much easier to move around the city with rollerblades on. Anyway. We go to the gym, and... And... Yay, lights! But yeah, Clement's kind of an interesting character. He's your... He's your typical nerdy character that fixes everything. Not quite. I just check the lighting circuit here. Maybe. <laughs> All right, everything's ready. Future is now thanks to science. Present power lighting system activate. And just like that, he lights up the entire. S oh, right, this scene. And there's your beacon of how you find home now. Um, <laughs> kind of, yeah. Excellent. The, my present tower's lighting system works brilliantly, just like all my inventions. I love how the little sister's always just plain, flat out doubting him. Anyway, so yes, the, the, the uh, tower in the center is the gym itself. The thing we've been trying to light this whole time, it's the actual gym. Now here's the thing. Now here, I want to, I'm telling you something here. If you can find a quarter, well this is for the egg hatches out there, but if you can find a quarter or a piece of tape or something like that, you can basically, t with, with the, le with the uh, thumbstick that's on, on the game, you can, dang it, there's a certain spot you can get where you can, where if you have the left thumbstick held down, uh, held right, or if you have the thumbstick held right, you can circle the entire perimeter of this place without ever having to change directions. So those hatching eggs, that effectively means you never have to stop going right, dang it. Okay, my, pro my point's not improved. Anyway, um, I'm going to get lost here, so let me just go down a random wing. So there's a lot I gotta talk about here in Lumio City. First of all, well, first of all, um, let's see. So juice shops, I, f I forget what juice is used for. I think it's just like another way to heal your Pokemon. What's this? Restaurant Leia. I forget what's in there. It's another restaurant place, nothing much. The Pokeball Boutique. Now this is an important thing. I'm just gonna go inside to show you guys this. Now the poke now there's something in this city where there's something within Lumios where you need to be a certain level of fabulous, quote unquote, in order to enter certain shops. If you're not the right amount of fabulous, you will not be allowed to enter certain shops. But I ha but after a while doing this, and th this I did find this out when it was when I did find out how to do this when it was still a little underground, now it's kinda widely known, but in order to increase your appeal, so to say. You basically want to come to this ball, po Pokemon ball, ball Boutique Shop and you want to buy a Pokeball or whatever the cheapest ball is in here. 
whatever you can. It looks like a premier ball. You just want to buy, or I guess any ball will work, but you just want to buy a, a ball one at a time. Buy one ball, buy one ball, buy one. Just keep buying it until you run out of money. Sell them all back and repeat the process. Eventually, you'll get to a point where you will be uh, noticeable. Well, noticeable. I'm trying to think of the right word. Where you'll be distinguished enough, so to say, where everybody will allow you into their shops, and certain shops will give you discounts on, cer on certain things. So, keep that in mind for yourself. Now, I'm probably not going to talk to everybody in the city. There are, I think there are certain NPCs that give you stuff, give you stuff like TMs and whatnot. But, unfortunately, I'm not going to talk to everybody because, man, that would take up too much time. Unfortunately, this is a moment where I'm going to say, if you want to learn where everything is, and if you want to, and learn, um, and learn where, and if you want to get everything, so to say, uh, look it up on a guide of some kind or on a website. Anyway, this, Lumios Museum. Let's go in here really quick, because I forget, I don't think I've ever visited here. Um... I don't think I need to even be in here, actually. Right, we actually don't need to be in the Lumio City until post-game, so there's nothing to do in there right now. See, I'm just going to do the things that will require me, that I can do that get me special things, or, or point out the hotel reach, you say. Actually, the hotel. Um, something I haven't mentioned is certain hotels, this is why I have a boy talking to the main bellhop, by the way. Certain hotels, you can work at the hotel to get, to get some items and whatnot. Mo uh, you don't get any monetary gain, unfortunately, but certain hotels will give you stuff. And TMs. I think some of them are TMs, too, so... But yeah, there's a lot of... I didn't want to go in the cafe. Did not want to go in the cafe at all. Fortunately, I personally feel cafes are, are unnecessary. Now, if you don't know where something is and you want to just be taken there directly, you can pay... I think it's depending upon destination, it's somewhere between 700 Poké Dollars and 3 grand Poké Dollars to any of these cab drivers in the vanilla trucks. And they will drive you to a destination. Also know that if you are unable to pay them upon arrival, they will battle you. And you can lose this battle. Because they have level like level 50 Pokemon or something like that. I don't know if that's an actual truth bomb going off or not, but that's something that I have been told. Dang it, I don't want to go in buildings without finding out what they are. Oh. Let's find out what this is, actually. I'm curious now. Is this the battle... Is this like another form of the Battle Mason? Let me read it. Battle Institute. So for those of you that like to do the battling stuffs, like the chain battling thing... That's your place. And here is a place you're going to want to remember for late, for post-game stuff. Lumio Station. I'll be covering what you can do at Lumio Station and other various locations later on. Now let's see. Uh, I think we'll finish doing our Outer Circle run. But, um... Oh yeah, I will say, if we find a uh, clothing shop, this will be the one time where I will not be going into the clothing shop. Because... This, that's one of the places where if you do not have proper appeal, you will be kicked out. Cafe introversion. Sounds like a place for introverts. There's so many cafes in the city. So there's that. The hair cutting place is just down here. We actually have visited it once before. Once we get done with the outer ring, I'll um, do my best to go down each of the other wings, so to say. And I don't remember what this is. What what are you? Keep in mind, I'm just oh this place. Now let's see if I can trigger something here. Second floor. Uh, I guess not. So this is an area where you can. So yeah, there's certain building office buildings you can go into now. If a building is unlabeled and you go into it, you have a chance of getting like the ghost girl glitch. They're not not really glitch. Ghost girl programming. Like you'll go in an elevator and it'll just take you to a floor. And nothing will look familiar, and then a trainer a trainer type we won't see until after the gym will appear in front of you and actually just kind of walk 
will creepily like slide across the floor while flashing base well flashing while flashing as in um missing frames whoa sorry about that as in it's as in she's missing frames cafe street stay and we're back here at the start so now that we're here i'm going to show you something i'm going to show you something else about how to get around the city a little bit easier though you do need to be careful because you can get lost pretty easy doing it like this what oh oop, oop. hold on i'm getting frame rate issues my apologies for that. I accidentally sent the video to the wrong location. Anyway, so a quick way to get around Lumios is actually to head down these side alleys, these plazas, so to say. This way you don't have to deal with the low times going from going the outside or inner ring back to here, outer. You skip the low times. You basically go right in between places fluently, like this. Here we go. Esteval Avenue. So here we have more cafes. There's usually something of note in each place, like here, Lotto ID Center. This will be a key place of wh where you would like to go while you're playing the game. Because if you're trading things to other people, any Pokemon you've caught, you bring, well, I, you bring, you come here once a day, and if you want to trade a lot, this is a huge benefit to you, by the way. So you come here, and they'll try and match the numbers of the ID of the Pokemon, or the trainer ID, five digit, is it five digit, or is it six digit now? Whatever. The ID number of the trainer that caught the Pokemon to. Um, and they'll try to match numbers off of those IDs here. See, I need my Pokemon. I've got two IDs to work with, unfortunately. Of uh, the Lombre I got. Okay, one digit matched. So we get a free Moo Moo Milk, uh, which heals 100 HP, I believe. If not, it's 60. Or 80. But yeah. Just once a day, check back in there and see if you want something. It's not that hard. It really takes no time out of these days, let's see. Now, let's not go that way because that leads to something else. Oh, here's another, another, another thing. There's sometimes back alleys. Can I go down here? Thank you. Sometimes you'll head into back alleys where there'll be people. Um, yes. Oh. I was not prepared for that. So apparently, down some of these back alleys, you can find people to battle. So in that regard, don't talk to everybody. But I think in one of these back alleys, there is a TM. I'm not going to explore every one of them, to be honest with you. Uh, well, maybe I will. Sorry, I'm a sucker for things. Um, okay. So yes. I guess this one's just a circle. <laughs> But yeah, down some of these back alleys, you'll find some st some stuff and some items. Now, where was I? That's the inner circle. And let's go this way. Now, I want to make sure you don't go back to the Magenta Plaza. Blue Plaza. So, as you see, there's more people here. You can get to the outer outer rings, inner rings from here as well. So, you can go anywhere you like to. Um, now, somewhere nearby here. Somewhere in he around here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, okay. I'm in a back alley. Oh, not going to battle him. <laughs> Not gonna battle the Garkon. So yeah, I actually didn't even know there were battles down some of these ways. Um, that leads. Oh, does that lead? There we go. So another avenue, the Vernal Avenue. Um, this will have one of the shops here, which I'm not gonna go in. The boutique. Which, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go in just to show you, just to show you exactly what happens. Hi. So yeah, stylish people cannot be in here, and you can just get booted right back out. Well, thanks, bitch. Anyway, but there are some, but, oh, what, what was that? Herborist. Okay, so here's where you can get herbs, uh, various stack growth thing and powder, buy, you can buy powders. Stone Emporium. I'm going to go in this one, actually. But yeah, the, um, the herbalist, you can make, buy special powders and herbs, which you can feed the Pokemon to give them health back and some stuff of that sort, but you also got to be careful because that does reduce happiness. So they sell various stones. Fire stones, water stones, and leaf stones. I want you to make note that they do not sell thunder stones. Very important. 
Because you're because so, if you're somebody like me who buys things and needs money desperately, you'll sell anything. I don't have a Jolteon in my Pokédex on my X file because of such thing. Oh hi. So this guy here. Yours for one million. Now. That may seem like a bad thing right now, but remember that trick I taught you earlier about sell buying Pokeballs one by one and selling them back, buying one by one, selling them back? Remember that, because that's how you increase your style, and that will also get you a discount on his stone. So you can get that stone for as cheap as... what's this one say? What's this one? Cafe Cyclone. Now I'm looking for a specific building down one of these side streets too, so forgive me for kind of putzing around. But if you can get stylish enough where his stones that he can sell you can be as cheap as 10,000 poke, poke dollars. And he sells mega stones. He sells the mega stones of the two Pokemon you did not uh, take an offer up on originally. Now, this one. Ooh. I don't know what's in this building. Hi. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm. Just gonna poke around. Hi. Ah. Uh, tre wait. Trevor. <laughs> Holy crap! We found uh, we found Trevor's house. Anyway, so back out here in the main streets. Back out here in the mean streets of town. Gonna keep going right. I think we're almost done with our city tour. Hello. There we go. Now let's see here. This is Cafe Kazuna. Another cafe. Another hotel or cafe shop. Um, let's see. I think we don't have too much more. The Rogue Plaza. Which, that's what I thought. Uh, let's see. Two buildings here. Oops. I went into this one accident. I'm frightened by the restaurant. So let me actually read the sign that's on this restaurant before, this time. I'm not gonna lie, movements. Okay, sushi high roller, and this place right here. This place right here, this commercial unit for rent. Remember this for post game, because there actually is another post game event involving that location. I'm going to try and tackle that as well in my own time. But here we are, the Autumnal Avenue, which I think is where we start. Yep, there's the Pokeball Boutique, so we've made our tour of the city. And there's the Magenta Square over there. Oh my gosh. So, in the next episode of Pokemon Y, the Fairy Mount Type Challenge, we'll actually finally go into the gym itself and challenge Clement, the nerd. Nerd! I'll see you folks then.